Looney Farm guy here with a new mod test for Farming Simulator 22 and this is the John Deere 1175 SLC by Cola 25.44 megabytes to download it is set is it is a set of four John Deere harvesters of various uh, types they are uh, 20 oh, what did I say 20 something slots each uh, if we look at our uh, what we have owned here yes 20 slots each and it also comes with um oops it also comes with headers two headers which are five slots each and a corn header which is four slots so we're going to look at all those things in the store and the configuration which we'll do now and here we go harvesters and here they are all four of them so we got a cabin hydro a hood hydro hood mechanic and cabin mechanic uh, we have one of each on the map right now there is an issue with two of them as i found out but we'll talk about that in a moment as far as i can tell they all have the same configurations uh, and options um oh hydrostatic and manual yes the hydrostatic combines uh, are okay it's the manual transmission combines that have the issue so we have two hydrostatic uh, combines 180 horsepower hydrostatic transmission 400 liters 18 miles per hour at 5800 liters and then we have the manual transmission both 180 400 liters 24 miles per hour which there is a asterisk beside that and 20 uh, 20 slots each for those right so for the cabin hydro we have wheel brands of midas michelin bkt continental trailerberg Verdestein, and lizard midas we have wides and duels michelin wides and standard and twin bkt standard twin continental twin wide so standard twin wide trailerberg standard and y just standard and twin vertistein just twins lizard here is uh, the interesting bit lizard we have the rice style wheel we have it in twin we also have the crawler track for seven extra grand and back to standard right beacons yes or no uh antenna uh, design one, two, three, or no, that's antenna on each side. That's kind of like the South American ish style antenna. Exhaust tip, I'm guessing. Yes, okay. Design two, three, no. So there's a few different designs for the exhaust, as you can see there. We do have several flag options. We have, of course, the Brazilian flag. And then Argentine, Bolivia, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Ghana, Paraguay, Peru, Venezuela, Suriname, Uruguay, United States of America, Germany, or none. Those are your flag options. And uh, waving nicely in the breeze, as it were. Uh, rim color, we have yellow or black. And then license plate, if you so choose to put that on there. Now... So I said these all have, let's see, the Lizard in particular. Yes, they all have the track option. Beacons, exhaust, flag, rim color. Yes. Again, Lizard, track, beacons, antennas, chrome, flag, yes, and rim color. So as you can see, the options are all exactly the same for all of them. They just have a little bit of different design amongst them. So... Let's go out into the field first. Uh, these two, this one, here we go. So this is the 1175 Hydro with the hydrostatic drive and uh, obviously open cab. So we have lights, signals, and we have some, um, 
we have we have been um oh yes you want to see the sorry before we get into that sorry about that we will look at the headers we have the john slc john deere 316 eighteen thousand dollars at 4.8 meters in width six miles per hour just like so and we have the slightly larger one there pretty basic as far as that goes and then the corn header is here the sic 205 ten thousand dollars 4.7 meters just like so so that's what comes with the pack just so it's all matchy matchy now we have the standard turn it on pipe out r1 horn and um, all that good stuff let's put the pipe back down because let's see if this one this one does not have different selection as as far as options that is all the options we have on this one interior this is how the interior looks it's pretty nice the accelerator um, lever as it were forward and pack if we go back out and uh, we set the worker off the worker had been uh, working it quite nicely no problems there of course that is the straw spread pretty nice and if we just go to straw swath Now the one thing I did notice about the tracked version, uh, if you have the tracks on there, the turning radius is pretty bad, uh, pretty large and wide. So if we hop on over to uh, the one with the corn, as you can see, he is full. So let's see how fast it is to unload. We're just going to dump it here on the ground. and. No surprise, it is, I would say, average. It is a um, fairly small hopper at 5,800 liters. Right, so this one as well, uh, it is exactly the same as the other one, just that it has a cabin. Uh, let's see, do we have a light option? It would seem that we have lights on the outside, signals, yes. If we go inside, it looks like that interior light is constantly on because there is no option. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Control group. So, wait a minute. Let's go back. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's drop drop that for a second. There we go. So there is, uh, I had the wrongs. All right, so one other thing that these have is we have a several control groups. Control group ladder grain tank. So L1 and right stick left and right. You see you can move that ladder up and down. Right stick up and down you can open that grain tank. There we go, there we have some grain in there. Now, press your triangle again, control group back ladder. That is back here, L1 and uh, oh, R1 and right stick up and down. Down will extend that ladder like so. Right. Press your triangle again. Control group mark RPM or speed on the dashboard. Parentheses three. That is the dashboard there. So if we go forward, right now it's marking our speed as the, as the dial, the little red dial beside the control. Now if we go L1 and R1, no, uh, R1, R1 and right stick left now it has switched to no l1 right there we go r1 and right on your right stick now you can see it's moving with the rpm it is now an rpm 
Right, a little bit, uh, a little bit of an interesting choice. One more click, and we're back to grain tank, ladder group, ladder uh, uh, control group two is the back ladder, and then control group three is the speed on the dashboard. Right, so we're back in here, and we're going to drop drop our header for a moment, and if we take a look at our control group one ladder green ladder yeah there it is uh exactly the same on this one except tank back ladder internal light so on this the cabbed version control group internal light three now what is that that is that light up there and if we go r1 r1 and right stick to the right it turns it off R1 and right stick to the left, it turns it on. Yes, let's turn that off. Right, so let's pick that up for a moment and turn on our harvester. And there we go, like so. Very nice. Okay, now to the nitty gritty. These are the John Deere uh, 1175, which is, and I need to explain this for a moment because you need to know which one this is. This is the hood mechanic and cabin mechanic. Mechanic as in mechanical transmission, not hydrostatic, but manual transmission. I have two of them here. One has the, the bigger header on it. But what I found with these, if I hop in, now they have also the grain tank the control group black back ladder and the our dashboard control option to see whether it's uh, RPM or speed and it does look very similar to the other ones however if you notice now as it's right now it's in forward gear I'm going to go forward and it only goes seven miles per hour. It is stuck in second gear and seven miles per hour is all I can get out of it. So I wondered, oh, maybe if it were, maybe there were the tire choice or something. Now I changed the tires and everything. Couldn't get any more speed out of it. And unfortunately the cabbed in cab, the cab version, it also has the control ladder grain tank, control group back ladder, internal light, off and on so all the same options all the same things as the other one except this one as well will only go seven miles per hour so unfortunately those two are stunted now that is not the end of the world because um, these two um, are don't work basically they and I mean they do work uh, seven miles per hour is as fast as the header will let them go anyways so it's just getting to your work area would be uh, a bit slow they do have hitches on the back so what we're going to quickly done to do is grab uh, let's see do I have a John Deere header trailer no let's just grab a standard Nardi trailer and Just run on over here. Make sure that hooks up to the header trailer. And then we're, we're going to wrap it up. But um, as I said, it's not the end of the world because the other two, the hydrostatic drive combines, work fine. So here you go. The header hooks up to that. No problem at all. As you can see, the turning radius with the tires is much better than the with the tracks that is something to be aware of too and that is pretty much it i think i've covered everything um unfortunately the uh, manual transmission ones is going to need an update thus the thus the um thumbnail if i remember that it says to need an update when i make it and there you have it that's a john deere 1175 slc by cola 25.44 megabytes to download they are 20 slots on console each, four of them. 
Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.